What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Adco Tire Guard. Now these are gonna work on RVs and motorhomes, and the one we're gonna be working with today is gonna to be the one that fits from 30 to 32 inch diameter wheels. You see we have one of them installed already. It's gonna be a nice way to protect that tire if you've already winterized your rig and it's sitting out there, you wanna cover up those tires so the UV rays don't bother them, it doesn't dry rot, the elements don't get to them. It's gonna be a good way to cover that up. Let's check it out. Now right away, let's just go into how it installs because you want to get this on there as quickly as you can. You don't want it to be a pain. So looking at it, I'm going to show you it's got like a bungee top here so it's stretchable. So it's not just one of those covers that you're going to have to stretch out yourself. It can be kind of a pain to put on there. So I like that, that you have a little bit of mobility to like stretch it out and put it over there. The inside's got felt. So it's going to protect your tire on there too. So it's not just this part that's going to be rubbing against the tire and wheel. So you don't have to worry about scratches with that. It's going to be nice and insulated and help out that tire. So all we're going to have to do is stretch it out like this, come down to the tire and just kind of put it over the top. Now it's going to take me a little bit on this one, just because we have low clearance with the wheel. Well, it's kind of getting in the way, but if I just slowly work it back there, the cover just goes right on. So again, it's not really the cover. It's gonna be difficult on this one. It's just the low clearance I have. But the bungee or the stretchability on the back makes it far easier to get this started. So I'm just kind of working it on both sides of the tire and then pulling it down over the tire. Look around the back here. There we go. Another nice thing I want to point out while I'm here is that I still got the tire chalked. So I didn't have to remove this to put the tire on or the cover on the tire. So I like that. That's not going to be a dangerous thing to unchuck it and have to completely put the tire on here because you want to be able to take these off pretty easily too, just in case you need to move it around. So I got that started. I'm going to go back on this side, get this adjusted. There we go. Now with it pulled down, you get this strap that has a hook and loop on it. So this is gonna go around the back side of the tire and hook up to this side, if you can see over here. So I'm just gonna put this around there. It's gonna be on the bottom of the tire. Try and push it over there. Then I'll come back here bring it across there have been some comments on the side that the strap could be a little bit longer we didn't have any problem on our front tire it looks like it's still gonna make contact on the back tire albeit not fully covering the hook and loop so it looks like 25% of it it's gonna make contact and hold it right there now I can come back here and just kind of try and pull it down a little bit maybe get a little more out of it for that strap there is also eyelets at the bottom and you could run a bungee that way too. If the strap's just not making enough contact and pulling tight enough for you, you can run a bungee to really pull that in together. Taking a closer look at the tire guards. So these are gonna be made out of a water resistant vinyl. So if it rains or something, it's just gonna run right off of there. And that's same with the snow. It's not gonna stick to it as well. It's also two-tone, as you can see, tan. So it's got the light tan here and the darker tan at the bottom. We've got the double stitching all around. It even has a seal over it. So all these lines, you can see, are gonna have that double stitching underneath there. I like that it's not pulled super tight to where I have to worry about, like it's gonna rip, you know? when you, Sometimes the form-fitting ones are nice because they go right over there, but then when you go to remove them or put them on, sometimes you might pull a little too hard and rip it, and then you've ruined your cover. Because the whole point is cover up your tires so that the UV rays don't break it down, it doesn't dry, wot, dry rot, and it doesn't have dirt buildup either. You don't want any of those issues because tires on our, tires in general are kind of expensive and you don't have to buy those or even mess with putting a new one on. Why not protect it when it's not in use? So if you're leaving it, your rig out all winter and you don't want those tires breaking down, you don't have to deal with that when you go to open it up and bring it out for the first time the next spring. One thing to look at is your tire size. So you're gonna get the tape measure out if you're not sure what size you have. I'm just gonna go side to side to get the diameter of the tire. 
to know which cover I need to order because they do have a bunch of different covers for a bunch of different sizes. I think it goes from 18 to 45. So looks like our tire here, if I go end to end, from there to there, is about 30 inches. So I know I need to get the one that's between 30 and 32 inches, and that's what I got. So that's why it fits so well. It's a little more baggy on this one. I imagine it'll get a little bit tired the closer you get to 32. Overall, I ended up really liking these tire guards. I, the important things for me, they were easy to put on there and they felt like they were durable. So with the double stitching and just messing with the material, didn't feel like they were gonna be so tight that they were just gonna rip if I pulled a little too hard on either direction. That can always be a pain. So those, are, those were addressed. I like the way that they fit on there. I like that I can leave the wheel chalk. It covers that up too. So it's not an issue to take that on or put that off because you wanna be able to easily take it off there when it's time to bust this out and clean it up and get ready to go back out for spring. But right now, as you can tell by the way I'm dressed, it's not spring. So we're just gonna leave this like this for the winter. And I know that the tires should be just fine when it's time to take it back out. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.